Well, hello, strangers. Thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zach. Here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. The Federal Reserve is hiking interest rates following its two-day meeting. We'll look at why experts say this may be the last 75 basis point increase for a while. Also, with just six days to go before Election Day, the balance of power in the U.S. Senate is just too close to call. One of the most hotly contested races is in Georgia, where former NFL star Herschel Walker is in a near dead heat with Senator Raphael Warnock. Former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appears poised to return to power. With more than three quarters of the country's ballots counted, he appears to have enough votes to win back his office and form a right wing government. Also for you this hour, from closing entire factories to locking guests inside its Disney Resort, we'll discuss the drastic steps China is now taking to prevent another wide-scale COVID outbreak. Plus, CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland joins us here on set to talk about what states are doing to ensure a fair and secure election and to prevent the losing candidates from then claiming voter fraud. Welcome back, my friend. It's good to have good you. Good to be back by your side, Lana. You know you're gone for a long time when you miss all your colleagues at work, <laughs> so I'm very happy to see you and to be back with everybody. And such a busy day. Let's get yeah. right to it. We begin with another interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve. The central bank is set to boost rates by three quarters of a percentage point. That's the fourth consecutive hike of that size this year. That's right. It also marks the sixth interest rate hike we've seen in 2022. Now, the moves are designed to cool off inflation. Today's decision will have an impact on already sky-high mortgage rates and how much you'll pay on your next credit card. That's if you're carrying a balance, which experts say don't do. Uh, the Federal Reserve will make the announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern. Jerome Powell will address reporters immediately following that. And of course, we will bring it to you live. Laurie Bedinger is president of Bank Alliance and former director for the Troubled Asset Relief Program, also known as TARP, uh, at the Treasury Department. Laurie Welcome. Uh, explain for us why the Fed's actions up until this point, all these previous interest rate